Good morning, folks. We've got a full range of topics today from earthquakes to space news, but we'll begin as always over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star. We may still lack sunspots, solar flares, and CMEs, but we've got coronal holes, a couple of them, and we do have plasma filaments as well. As we switch to 304 angstroms, we find a bit more activity than was noticeable in the orange 193 angstrom view. No real CMEs, but snaps, shifts, and collapse events hit the eastern limb in the south polar crown. The solar wind is calming to quiet levels as we're awaiting impact from the next coronal hole stream, geomagnetism flirting with zeros once again. But as we noted yesterday, phi angle settling back into a flow from sun to earth, Earthquake warning fully set in yesterday as we began solidly connecting magnetically. We took two big quakes on Earth yesterday, both on the Pacific side of the Americas topping out at 6.3 in Drake's Passage. Both magnetic connections to our star and the streams from these coronal holes should be relevant in the coming days. Moving on to what's to be seen in the skies. Amazing shot coming in from Europe of a meteor exploding as it hit the upper atmosphere, this one had almost no trail as it quickly penetrated and pierced the outer electric layers and then exploded quickly. While a minor tornado likely dropped near Portland, the bigger funnel tore through farmlands in Australia here. No footage like this of the event in the U.S. Let's go next to something odd. Not one, but two rectangular ice blocks chunked off of Larson C. One is merely close looking, but the other has two of its sides at shockingly well cut appearance. Almost doesn't look real. There are some strange waves Juno noticed in the Jovian atmosphere. Massive versions of these were spotted by Voyager decades ago, but now we have images of these smaller versions existing and interacting in about every manner imaginable, including rippling away from a Jovian cyclone. Folks, a global electric circuit feature has been seen on the Sun. Just as Earth spot cells have helical electric flows in the circuit, up and down vortex action, the spiral flows in sunspots mirror that action. They are all the material is electromagnetically active, if not completely plasmified, and it happens to behave just like the earthly pressure cells do. Website members, we combined two recent stories for your 83rd episode of Deeper Look on the Year, hoping to show you how easily one article can be used to learn about the supposed mysteries claimed in another. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.